In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to give your sprite lives in a scratch game. So we go to create up here. Okay, we can get rid of this in the middle. And the first thing we always do is uh, to go to events. And the first event is to click the green flag to start the game. Now, the next thing we do is uh, we go to variables down here. And uh, the number of lives that a character has is variable. It varies throughout the game. So we set this up as a variable. And we click make a variable here on top. And we're going to call our variable lives. And hit OK. Now, at the start of our game, let's say we set the number of lives to three. So drag this out. And we'll set the number of lives to three. And uh, we just test that that's working first. So hit the green flag to start the game. So as you can see, it sets uh, lives to three at the top of the screen. Now, the next thing we need is the forever loop. So this runs as long as the, after the green flag has been pressed, um, this keeps the game running, the forever loop. Now, inside in that, we want an if statement. And I'm going to do something very simple for a start. Just, just say I'm going to make my character keep moving to the right. And when he hits the edge, he loses a life. So we'll try that. So we go back to sensing. He's going to, uh, so first of all, we go to motion. So we just say move 10 steps. So we'll say when the right arrow is pressed, for example, move 10 steps. So we'll go here to sensing. When he senses the right arrow being pressed, so drag in this statement here, the key. So if key right arrow is pressed, we'll then move 10 steps. And that's going to automatically move him 10 steps to the right. Uh, we'll test that piece of code now and see if it's working. So hit the green flag and hit the right arrow. And as you can see, he's moving to the right. So let's take him back again to the middle. We'll turn off that code. Now we've one last thing to do. When he hits the edge, he has to lose a life. So uh, we're going to put that in next. And that's another if statement. So drag this out here. So that goes below the first if. Now again, this is a sensing option. So when he senses the edge, so you can do that here. Uh, so touching, there's a touching command up here. And we'll put in the edge. If touching edge. Now if touching edge, we want to lose a life. We want our lives to go down to two. It started off at three. So we go back to variables here. And we're going to change lives. So if he's touching the edge, we want to change lives to change it by minus one. Minus one brings it down a life. So put in minus one there. And uh, maybe also go back to the middle. I mean, I had to drag him back there manually, but let the game do that. So to bring him back to the middle, after he's hit the edge, you want to go back to the middle again and start again. So uh, to do that, go back to motion. And it's this go to command here. So once you hit the edge, you change lives by minus one. Uh, you go to um, zero, zero, which is the middle of the screen. Zero, zero is the dead center of the screen. Now let's try that. So we'll start our game with the green flag. We start off with three lives. Now I'm going to use the right arrow on my keyboard to keep moving him to the right. Watch the lies going down to two as I hit the edge. So the lies now is down to two. And we've come back to the center and we're starting again. Now what I can do is move again. And it's a two at the moment. If I hit the edge, it's now down to one life. And finally, when he hits the edge, 
it's down to zero. And then maybe you could put a message like game over or something at the end like that. Uh, so if we just turn off the game. So that's the end of that lesson. That's how to give your character lives and how to reduce the lives uh, one at a time.